Well, good day, my name is Ralph Leinen. I'm the uh, so-called country division lead here in South Africa, representing the Siemens division of the digital factory as well as the process industries and rice. Well, I have to say I'm now three months in the country and I'm very much excited to be here and really be present at this show here today and to kind of introduce a bit of what is driving us and what is driving the markets with regards to digitalization and that's very much so of what the models of this show for us meeting is all about, driving the digital enterprise is very much so what we try to cover here on our booth. What draws you to an exhibition such as the Africa Automation Fair? Well, I guess it is fair to say that Digitalization changes everything. It is the way that, let's say, you and I read books nowadays, or that we listen to music. I think the way that we communicate, or that we, let's say, drive our cars. Well, coming from a traditional way, having our car, even driving nowadays, the car is more like a computer that, by the way, drives uh, by accident almost, so to say. I think digitalization changes everything, and that's very much so what brings us also here on the booth, where we say, well, what we just covered and addressed on a private sector is happening in the industrial sector as well. Products to be produced, the variety of products being available to the market, the demand of our customers steadily and ever increasingly, the requirement for the producers of products being more flexible, more agile, bringing products faster to the market than ever before, and the ability to really respond to those customer demands really does provide an increasing demand for digitalization, and that's what we as Siemens would like to offer here on that booth today. Which new product do you have that is really changing the way things are working in the industry? Okay. We are introducing three new products on the show. Uh, the first product is a PCS7, our distributed control system, new version based on Profinet and not on Profibus. Second, we introduced two software packages. The first software package is Commerce for industrial engineering, and the second software package is a simulation platform Siemens. Uh, just to grant you seamless integration and, and implementation of the digitization platform of Siemens in the process industry. I think our customers nowadays with the given requirements that the market is asking for are really being driven by, nevertheless, by, by continuously finding fields for productivity and speed in bringing their products to the market. And that is being covered by, let's say, the very so unique uh, portfolio that is being provided by Siemens with our so-called digital enterprise software suite, which is kind of really covering the whole value or let's say the whole life cycle of a product from the product design over the production design where ultimately the product is being manufactured to the production engineering meaning where we put this design of the product as well as the production into life the production operation as well as the services covering all this the whole value chain so to say of our customers is really what we'd like to bring to them meaning from a definition of what the product requirements are, the data needed to really cover those product uh, requirements, ultimately lead, lead into something that we call the digital twin of something. That digital twin is the prerequisite to all, also, let's say, actively define and design the production process. And that allows our customers to much faster, with less effort, to a much more, let's say, cost-effective way, really develop their products and bring them faster to the market. The Simatic PC7 is a distributed control system. Uh, it's already for 25 years on the market, and uh, we've got huge install base on South Africa in different technologies. Uh, and the chemical, petrochemical, and the mining industry, and the water waste water. We introduce a new version of PC7 9.0 based on the new trends, new technologies, based on the uh, Profinet as a net structure, using the new CPUs. It's much more powerful than the previous version. On top of that, we are introducing new software packages, uh, digital suite software packages like Commerce and uh, simulation platform Simit, and that you can see that in our stand. Ultimately, we're sitting on version 9 of PCS 7, so it's due to be released at the end of June. So, looking forward to that, but I think let's go through what the software actually entails. The system offers about 50% faster engineering time than your basic PLC SCADA system. Obviously, it would, um, it would require a lot of engineering, there's predefined blocks, 
There is a lot of power in PCS7 in terms of the hardware configuration. There's also PDM. PDM is our uh, process device manager. So what would happen is that you'll be able to uh, go down to your field level, contact the devices, do uh, downloads to the devices, bring up the information, testing, fault finding, an amazing system. So ideally we have two systems which we generally like to sell with PCS7. The reason being is that we use it for virtualization. So for example, or simulation rather. And this would actually be able to test the software before we actually put it on the plant, on the live plant. So we can eliminate as much errors as possible. <coughs> we are looking at maybe a 99% error-free system when we put it on. Um, because ideally what the system can do, it, it can mimic a lot of the um, PCS7 functionality. So what, what would happen is that, for example, if you have something called a simulation unit, then you would be able to actually uh, simulate your inputs and outputs on the system and even your PID control, which is, I believe, is very important because you're creating something called a digital twin. So later on, you can use it for new operators that are entering the plant who do not understand the plant to actually train on the system before they actually work on the live plant, which I believe is a big benefit. Hence, we try to push the concept of operator training. A lot of people don't offer this because what would happen is that a system integrator would go to site, program it, and then explain to them, and then they're left in the lodge, which is not the best thing to do. So what we say is that, listen, let's use this to actually um, explain uh, or to actually simulate the system so people have a better understanding of what they're working with. And I believe that's the main point. So ideally, what the software would entail is that we have something called Summit version 9, which is the latest version at the moment. And ideally, you would have, say, for example, um, a coupling. A coupling is the actual um, controller that you're talking to. In this case, we're using PLC SIM. You can use a 1500 coupling. You can use a virtual controller, which I suggest you do. And um, you ultimately design your plant and how you want it to work.